I am Faith, and this is my chair. No, you cannot have it. I'm laying here. Faith, I love you, but you gotta go. Alright guys, sorry it's been a little while since I posted a video. Uh, so much has going, been going on around here lately. But I at least wanted to stop and I'm going to try and get this video out today. Uh, thought I'd at least show you some of the stuff that I sold. Remember that box that I got for $9? Uh, today sold this. Doesn't work. Sold for $7. Uh, the Dear Diary thing. I actually bought a brand new battery for this thing cost me like a buck fifty for two sold for thirty five dollars and I think I got something else around here I still need to get but I got this thing I couldn't find the listing for this on Amazon but I listed it on eBay everything was like 100% clean and clear worked and everything sold for one hundred dollars and I shipped it out a couple days ago, but I sold my most expensive t-shirt on eBay. It was my vintage 1980 Genesis Tour shirt. Sold for $140. I was really happy about that one. I've actually been sitting on that one for a while, but I wasn't going to drop the price any lower than I already had it. Um... That's all I've got for you right now. I'm going to try and get my stuff packed and out the door and then hopefully hit some yard sales and see if I can get something good. Wish me luck. Unfortunately, it's broken. I don't know if it'd be worth it for parts, but they're asking 15. What in the hell? I've actually never even seen anything like this. But, I thought I'd at least show it for you guys. Well, that's all Chinese. I'm assuming Chinese. Nishi Jen? I don't know, but it was definitely interesting. All right, on to the next. Bye. It's weird having my little girly in the front seat. Really weird. But all those yard sales, estate sales, nothing. Some of the stuff they were, they had, they were just asking way too much money. They even had a musket at that last one. That one was kind of weird. I'd ever never seen a musket before. Uh, they did I at that last one. They did have some uh, uh, Polaroids, but I'd never seen the rainbow one. But it was broken, and they were asking fifteen dollars for it. There was the other one that was right next to it, and it was older, and I knew nothing of it. And uh, from what I could see, even if it was selling for parts, it would have been less than what they were asking. So, they had a VCR with remote, and they were asking 35. No, sorry, you're going too high. All right, so, yeah. I also hit the next stage of getting old again. She just hit 13. I'm old. Ah! She's scaring me. She's getting older. She's growing up. She's getting bigger. She's like wearing makeup and wanting to do her nails. Make it stop! No. Yes! No. It must stop. No. Alright, well. I'm going to stop recording, and I guess I'll catch you at home. Show you what I got yesterday. All right, so I only got two things yesterday, but uh, they were kind of exciting. The Dungeons & Dragons 3.0. Monster's Manual. That, that, that one's good. 
actually brand new. There's tiny little clues as you can tell if it's new or used. And for D&D, &D, the first thing you gotta remember, if they write their name on it. We all write their, our names on the inside. The Monster's Manual for the 3.0 goes for about 40 to 60. Uh, brand new, kind of depends on current market fluctuations. Uh, the 3.5, it goes for 100. I don't know why the difference. There really isn't much difference between 3.0 and 3.5. Uh, the Dungeon Master's Guide for 3.5 goes for, uh, I think it was $80. Uh, number one thing to notice between 3.0 and 3.5, you can see it right there, it says version 3.5. 3.0 doesn't have this on it. Because it would be right there. So yeah. Only got the two, paid $10 for the one and 20 for the other. All right, so I'm actually highly disappointed. All those places, nothing. Really disappointed. I was honestly hoping I would get more to show you, but that's it. Uh, a few days ago, I almost forgot. I still have to get these cleaned up and everything. Pioneer multi-disc changer. I think it goes for like uh, 35 40 Same thing with this one. Same thing, different model. I paid uh, 10 bucks a piece, but they're fast sellers. They have like uh, a 95% sell through rate. So, all right, I'm sorry. That's all I've got for you today. I wanted to at least get another video out today. It's been, I think it's been like two weeks since I uploaded a video and I wanted to get something out for you. So, all right, that's all I got. I hope there, I get something else soon and I hope to be back on track getting videos out to you. Um, I almost forgot. There is one more thing. It's not going to happen for a few more hours. I'll get right back to you. Okay, back home, end of the day, um, got to go see my sister, and she is fully supportive of me doing the reselling business. Uh, actually, I knew this was coming, but it was even more so than I ever really thought before. Um, she bought me something for my business as an early birthday present. She was at Sears, and she saw they were closing that store, and she's like... Uh, do you need these? It's like, I actually do, but it's, she caught me out when I'm like, right after the first Saturday of the month, I've already spent all the money I had, and it's okay, here we go, uh, she'll buy it for me. It's like, okay, we'll consider it an early birthday present. Okay. A little pricey, but okay. So, alright, this is what she got me. Alright, so this Sears location was closing, and they were selling off their mannequins. And she knew that my mannequin that I had, Alice, her, her butt's fallen off. And she asked if I had gotten one yet. And I was like, no. And she's like, over here, they're selling these for this price. It's like, oh, I'm flat broke right now. It's first Saturday. I just kind of spent everything I had. She's like, okay, we'll call it an early birthday present. Here you go. So I now have a couple of new mannequins. Like, I'm not even sure how this is supposed to work exactly, but I'm sure I will figure it out before long. This is supposed to be the woman's, but it looks more like a child. <laughs> and what I thought was kind of weird, Let's see if I can do it with one hand. No, probably not. This top actually comes right off and you can reach your hand inside it. And it's just basically hollow, so if I wanted to store stuff in it, I could. Yeah. So, in case anybody was really curious, please excuse the mess of all the extra boxes and whatnot. Here is my mini warehouse. Yeah. It's looking better and worse at the same time. 
So, all right, that's all I got for you. Uh, it's dark, so it's kind of hard to see anything. Yay. So, all right, that's all I got. So, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And don't forget, like and subscribe.